today we're making tiny tapestries for these guys. Some assembly required. Hello. We have been told by the residents of the castle that it is simply too plain and boring inside. And so we want to be good landlords, so we're going to make some little tapestries and jazz it up for them inside. So, what we've done already is we applied a coat of fabric stiffener to the inside of the castle. We're going to paint it with acrylic paints. First of all, we thought it would be nice for the fabric to be a little bit stronger to kind of hold the castle up. It's just felt and it's just needle felted and it's flat and it, it's a little wibbly. But we thought if we put a little fabric stiffener on it, it would strengthen it and give us a better surface to paint on. Yeah. So we're planning to paint sort of a castle-y stonework yeah, like kind of gray on the inside. Uh, not sure about the floor. We'll see. So that will be our second step after all of the fabric stiffener dries. Then on top of that, we are going to use some of this lovely felt. We have uh, some dark blue and some light blue to make different tapestries to hang on the walls. These are going to be like next to the door. We're going to paint a red door on the inside so that it's not like, wait, we're trapped inside forever. <gasps> How did we go inside? We can't get back out. So these are gonna go next to the door. We measured them. We cut out little templates so that we know how big to make everything. Mm -hmm. And these will go on the side. On, on the, the walls. walls. Yeah. yeah, so there'll be two little tapestries in the front and then one on each side. The big ones will be the family crest of these guys. They have a cool crest, just wait. And those ones will be, the little guys will be in the front, hanging next to the door, more of a decoration. First we'll cut out uh, the templates, then we will think about what colors we want to use for our shield, our crest. And then we'll start embroidering. So. Let's get all of our materials together, all in the same place, and see what we can do. I believe we have everything. We've got our templates, our felt, and these came from a lovely selection of felt that had as many colors as I can imagine. It was hard to pick, but we picked sort of a blue. Yeah. Some embroidery floss. We picked some that matched the blue and some that would kind of match the door. So, you know, everything inside would be sort of cohesive, uh, scissors, two different kinds of pens that are supposed to fade off the felt, we'll see, and our plan. Yeah, so. We have this crest with a unicorn on it and a little flag, like ribbon. Yeah. What should, should the ribbon say something? Mm, I think it's going to be very small and I don't think it's going to be able to say anything <laughs> in real life, but we can imagine that it says something. Like unicorn. The unicorns live here. No. A mm -hmm. bunny and a marshmallow live here. Yeah. Incorrect. Bad sign. <laughs> okay, here we go. They look like jeans pockets. I'm the king of the camera! Very nice. Great. Let's... Start drawing on our design? Yes. I think this one should be like uh, this color. Good. Right. Yeah, you can't really see that. That's fine. No problem. Okay, so we are going to try to embroider these. We'll show you when we're finished in just a second. We just had a clever idea. Since we are trying to get our needles in from the back into a specific spot. We thought if we poke our needle through from the front and it show of, where it, it needs to go, it leaves a hole so you can go in through the back. So far, that's all I have done. Okay, keep going. So we have done our little chevron pattern and now we just have to make some little dots at the top. It's kind of cool in the back too. Mm -hmm. Check, check. See, they're finished now. 
Oh, they're twins. So now I'm going to attempt to draw our design onto the bigger tapestry things. Yeah. Oh, we have to think about, do we want fringe on this? No. This? No. No fringe. So I'm going to start with the white one and see how it goes. See? Okay, the purple's probably better. I'm just worried that the purple's not going to fade. It will fade eventually. It has in the past, so it probably will. I'm not full of trust in the products. See, Mom, it's already fading. It's not even solid with line anymore. Great. We gotta do this fast. Maybe we should do that and then do it and then draw the next oh, thing. Oh, that's a good idea. And do it and then draw the next thing and then do it. Okay, so given the quick fading nature of our pen, we're going to maybe do one thing at a time. So we'll just do the outline, which you probably can't see. Oh, you can. All right, now they really look like pockets. Yeah. So we'll do the outline and then hopefully that will go nicely. We've got a little pink border and the next step is yellow dots. <laughs> Ta-da! There's yellow, I promise. Now my next challenge is to draw a shield on the inside as big as I can so I can try to fit the unicorn in. Wish me luck. Mm -hmm. Even though this kind of already looks like a shield, but... Apparently we're gonna need two shields. <laughs> cool. Whoa. They have a new crown. They're sharing now. They can hold it up better. <laughs> Ta-da! Got a lot of outlines done. We are going to take a break uh, before we do all the little fussy stuff. So I guess we'll go check on the castle and see if it's finished drying. And if it is, maybe we'll do the paint. Yeah. So the castle is definitely not even a little bit dry, soaking wet. Leave it all night, I guess. We took a break anyway. So the next thing we're going to do is the little banner. We'll do it in red. I think what I'm going to try to do is outline it first and then see if it would look better colored in. So I think that we will definitely fill it in. I think that we need a different color in the background. You can't like really for see the, it. the folded over part of the, you know. But, um,. We'll see, maybe a dark pink. The next step is to add the teeny tiny unicorn. And then this is finished. Hooray! This is not gonna be easy, but it'll be cool at the end. Mm -hmm. So these turned out really cool, especially these ones with like the banner and the unicorn. Pretty awesome, and they were fun. Embroidering on felt is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Except when you pull it, it like bends. But just don't pull too hard and it's really fun. Just don't pull too hard. This is a pretty cool project if you're just beginning embroidery or if you just think that it would be fun to make a tiny tapestry. Start here, start here. then go here. Build up your nerve. Great, super. We have to wait for the castle to dry because it's getting a bit of a paint job. And then we'll stick these. And we'll stick them on and see how they look. My guess is they're gonna look just super cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bunny and Marshmallow are excited too. I'm so excited! They've been watching the whole process. So, so excited. Waiting, 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 we'll do the next step. waiting, waiting. Waiting, mm -hmm. waiting. It's finally dry enough. So the first thing we'll do is put a coat of gray and then add some stony looking details. And finally, we'll paint the door. I couldn't think of any really great ways to hold the tapestries onto the wall while the glue was drying, so I thought we would just go with hot glue. And it seems to be working really well, and it's easy. So that's great. So, are you guys ready to move into your new home? Ta-da! 
That's pretty cool. It's I a unicorn. am a little bit surprised at how well the stone look turned out. It really looks kind of like it's actually made of stone in there. Yay! <laughs> That's cool. Welcome, Bunny. So that was really fun, and now these guys have a little something to look at inside their castle. If you liked this video as much as these guys did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you like videos like this, make sure that you look underneath the video where you can subscribe and click the bell so that you don't miss any videos that come out. They come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, and they are strange and varied and unique. Like, we are. <laughs> so until the next video, we will be here having lots of fun. And maybe eventually we'll give them some furniture. Yep, maybe some furniture. I feel like we left some space for a rug on the floor because yeah. you don't want to be walking around on the stone. That gets very cold on your tiny little bunny feet. And your tiny little marshmallow. <laughs> Bum. Bum. <laughs> Marshmallows don't have feet. So until the next video, have lots of fun and we will see you then. 